Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Bug Fables The Everlasting Sapling. Last time we made it through the Lost Sands to get here to Defiant Root. Uh, we're now going to explore Defiant Root a little bit and get an idea of what this place is like. It's not huge, but it's it's probably one of the bigger towns, I guess. There's a couple of things to look at. Uh, come visit Isao's clinic. First consult is free. I'm going to uh, move my headphones there so I can hear my voice a little bit better. There we go. Hey, welcome. What's troubling you? We're not sick, just passing by. That's okay. If you're feeling bad, drop by. First consult's free. That was such a relief to my eyes. She's treated many of my wounds. A trip from the north sounds anything but fun. Really, though? Not so bad to have someone else take care of you, right? Can't argue with that. Have a good time before you head out. Best to go into a job without any regret. That eye patch, so cool. Seriously, Kabu, that's for covering wounds, you know. Yeah, can't believe you're so insensitive. Wait, I said it was cool out of respect. That's adorable. Explorers for the ants, eh? You shouldn't doing your usual questing or whatever. Check the board over there. It's quite convenient to have quest boards all throughout the kingdom. Must be a drag to update all of them. Works for us though. Completing these gives super good stuff. Indeed. Let's check up on them every now and then. Uh, there's a couple of quests we haven't taken yet. Uh, we do want to do crispies. That's an important one. Uh, we want to do cuts as well. We want to do all of these, actually. Uh, hello. Marky's still gone. I'm starting to get worried. He never takes this long to complete a mission. I'm certain he's fine. Maybe he... Shut up! He's fine! Tina's search for Marky continues. That's cute and all, but you better not forget her job. Knowing her, she's already finished. She's scary efficient with making time for Marky. Ah, the bakery in this town is the best. By mixing flour with different ingredients, it's possible to create so many different pastries. I must taste all of them. Ah, we can't help but be hungry around this bug. No rush, Leaf. You two can hang out. No rush, Leaf. You two can hang out. Oh? We just might order some stuff then. Don't mind if we join you. Nope, I don't want to talk to her. Hey. Great. She's here too. I wonder what she's up to. Don't know. Don't care. Isn't Fee being a bit too mean? Nope, we can't talk to her. Uh, we have piled up a lot of quests here because we haven't been looking at them. Uh, we will eventually do all of these, it's just it becomes a lot uh, a lot more convenient to do quests at a certain side quests at a certain point in the game, so. We might hold off for a little bit. Uh, we will be doing every quest though, we are going for 100%. Uh, oh, it's Morty's Bed Bug Rental System! Welcome! A Bed Bug Rental Service? Uh, what exactly do you mean? It's all in the name! This pill bug here is incredible, I tell ya! If you're tired, he will lull you to sleep and heal you fully. Well, let's rent it, team. Seriously? It sounds like a huge scam. B but the pill bug. Look, I don't ever do this, but it'll, if it'll earn your trust. First rental's free. How's that? As soon as you sleep, though, he'll come back to me. It's quite an interesting business model. Well, first try is free. I can't say no. Yes. Yes. You won't regret it. He'll show you his superpowers. You got the bed bug. Cute bed bug Morty lent you. Looks so peaceful while sleeping. I sure what nap won't hurt. He'll do his best to take care of him, okay? We will. We will. Oh, we will. <laughs> Don't forget we must return him. Hey, how's the little guy doing? We couldn't be happier. Just don't hang on to him too long, okay? I must say, Morty's services were better than I expected. It'd be useful to rest anywhere. If I was him, I'd charge way more. The idea that our dear bed bug could be rented to another bug. Team, we must keep renting at all costs. Uh, just remember we don't own it or anything, okay? 
So, uh, the bed bug that we have now collect acquired, uh, if you go into the inventory, it shows up as a key item, and you can just use it, and it works like sleeping it in. But then the bug will go back to where it was. Uh, so, yeah, basically it's a one-use end sort of thing, I guess. Uh, and then when you go back here, you have to actually pay to get the bug a second time. Uh, I don't remember using it much, so there's a lot of healing spots in this game, so you don't really need to be able to heal anywhere, but... Uh, it is a thing we can do now, if we so desire. <laughs> what room have we got in our inventory? Plenty. Let's go grab that, that berry juice up there. Tasty stuff. Kabu, you came to visit. Care to stay in chat? Meh. Thank you. I'm currently on a mission, however. I'll come back again. Anytime, Kabu. Bring your friends, too. Going to the mayor's house is super weird, isn't it? Eh, I think it's a cute method. Regardless of the route, this is a great place to live in. You can easily oversee the whole town from here. Look, all I'm saying is you could have paid for some stairs. <laughs> hmm. Over here, there's a locked door. A big lock in front of you. We don't have a key. Bandits have caused me some big trouble. If I wasn't blue, I reckon I'd be jailed by now. Poor Dran, he's had it rough lately with all these bandits. Hmm, even though he is such a fine fellow, it's hard to escape superficial judgement. He'll be fine. And if he's not, we can help. Leaf, V, you two get more caring by the day. Hmm. Mm, hey, careful around this well here, yes? You don't want to be falling in. I don't know why bugs stay here, it's all sandy and stuff. You know, yeah, we wouldn't make this a permanent stay. A very tightly knit community with strong traditions. Can't they just do the tradition somewhere nicer? Where be? Was that this, or...? Yeah, it, it was when we were talking at first, and I wasn't sure if that was the message for talking to this bug, or just the message when you're standing over here. But yeah, this one is quite different. I don't think I've read this actually. Hang on. Let's do it, Let's do it again. My watch has changed. There's quite a few places I want to visit. Really? I usually just zoom past the town unless I need the inn. I'm not familiar with the area. What's good in town, Kabu? North of here is a commercial district. The baker makes fantastic honey treats. Seriously? The mayor's around here too. I should greet him when I get the chance. I think I, I did the seriously wrong. Seriously? That sounds a bit better. <laughs> Hello. Oh ho ho, welcome, welcome. This is Defiant Roots, one and only museum. Ancient artifacts or historic pottery, we take pride in all of it. Wow. Walls of War? These weird pins were found buried in the desert ages ago. Historians deduce these tools were made by either roaches or giants. As for their use, they might have been used as traps to keep invading troops away during times of war in these very lands. No consensus on their use or creation which has been reached yet. Uh, these pins here. There they are, you may you may recognize them. <laughs> the first pot. When defined fruit was first founded, many termites and potter wasps came to these lands seeking new soil. The union of these two clay artisan species made to the creation of all defiant made to the creation of all of Defiant Roots buildings and our land's famous clay pots. If you're interested, please consider purchasing your very own masterfully crafted clay pot as a souvenir. A perfect home decoration, so always remember your, your visit to our proud settlement. This moth looks just as old as the rest of the museum. <laughs> you don't get to talk about being old. Why? Right, the. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, I... Uh, it's fine. Walked right into that one. Oof. Hey, I hope you're having a good day. Please be careful, okay? Something seems off about this young lady. Hmm? A leg. Ah, we should probably shut up. Or she don't hear us gossip. Oh yeah, she's got a... Got a prosthetic leg. Lady. 
Not sure if she has a name. Maybe it comes up later? Most of the characters do have names, even if they're not mentioned in the battle, so... Ew, look like you might be interested in this. I see berries. I have some. Sixteen berries a pop. You in? No way. Fine, don't tell anyone else about this. What the? Yikes, we didn't see him there. Interesting spot. Shall we see what he has to say? I'm not sure if you actually get to see what that bug looks like, or... <laughs> but yeah, you can buy spicy berries there if you want. Uh, I'm not too in invested in getting spicy berries, so... I won't. I'm just going to explore the town for now. I think this door opens up later. Maybe you from the other side, I can't remember. Uh, that elevator leads to the Bee Kingdom, which is where we actually need to go, but we're not going to do it just yet. Oh hey, it's you guys. So, figured out what you want. 25 berries for this tunnel. Eh, we're not sure yet. We should wait. We're not wishing right now anyways. It's always best to save and wait. Eh, if we ever do need to come back, we could talk to her. Oh fine, just come back and talk to me if you want me to dig. Diana seems to hold massive strength. What if she joined our team? She'd punch holes through spiders. It's a shame. If she wasn't so committed to her job, it would be such a great help. Yeah, we don't really need to pay her for tunnels except for one, which we will get to later in the game. Uh, that one we will be paying for. Keep going down this path, you'll eventually reach the Golden Settlement. Just be careful with the monsters on the way. V, you're the only bee explorer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, that I know of. I've been thinking it's a bit weird to see so many bee guards, but only one explorer. Look, they're not guards because they want to or anything, okay? They were born to be guards, so they guard, that's it. That's a bit... somber. That's just how the hive is sometimes. Uh, if we wander this way, uh, we get another of these little shops. Magic seed, burly berry, or succulent berry. Some good stuff. Uh, we don't really need it right now, though. Uh, we are now technically back in the Lost Sands, which is why the music changed. Uh, we can't do anything here yet. No way to get across that with the abilities we have at our disposal. <laughs> it's Asp. Or even, so I don't think I'm giving you any discounts. Gotcha. Oh, it's Cricket Lee, it's not Zaz. Cricket Lee's one of the members of the tar Traveling Caravan. I've heard she's pretty hot headed. No kidding, you can already tell by her looks. She does have a soft spot for her husband, though. I think we shouldn't judge people by their appearances. I guess that's her husband? Ascard is one of the members of the Traveling Caravan. He's always managing trades and sometimes calming his wife down. How did someone like him end up with a hot headed cricket like her anyway? B, hey, we shouldn't pry into other people's affairs. Even if I am curious about that too. Ding. We haven't actually been to the inn, so we probably shouldn't take any damage right now. Uh, we don't really want to go into battle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you keep walking that way, you get to the Golden Settlement. You get a bit of a shortcut, which is nice. Uh, but for now, we're just going to head back into the Divine Route. Here we are, the elevator to the Bee Kingdom. Woo! Gets the job done. We're going up, let's make sure we don't need anything from down here. So this is the inn. Uh, we do wish to stay here, so let's have a little chat. Welcome to t and W's inn. Four berries per bug to save the night here. So, twelve berries for you three? Shall I arrange the beds? Okay. Oh, thank you. It's alright. Some complex things happened and I'm coming to terms with them. I'm grateful for your patience. Don't let it bother you. Oh, Wasp. I can feel the loss in his eyes. Uh, so he's sad, basically? Indeed. You're dying to talk to him, aren't you? No. When it's grief like this, only time can heal it. Let's not meddle. 
Carbon? Uh, we do eventually have a chance to figure out what's wrong with this bug, but for the time being, we cannot do anything. So, have a rest. Thank you. Your room is in the middle. Enjoy your stay. This way. Uh, as Kabi mentioned, this is the commercial district. We've got a shop out here, sell a couple of different things. You can get some bread, you can get a leaf, you can get an agaric? Ag agaric? You can get that. Uh, you can also get a hustleberry, uh, which is. There's a thing in Paper Mario, like a deleted item called a hustle shake. Uh, something like that. I think that's what it's called. And when Mario uses that, you get an extra turn. Uh, but this, this berry, this hustle berry does the same basic thing. Uh, but it's actually an item that's in the game, whereas the Paper Mario Hustle Shake, that was dummied out. It's in some ROM hacks, but it's not in the base game, you can't get it. Uh, but I guess they decided they should put it in the game. And I mean, since all three characters can use items, like, unlike in Paper Mario, where only Mario can use items, it does make sense. Uh, to have, like, an extra turn item like that. Hey, welcome to Crisby's, the best baker in town! And, uh, the only one. Give me some stuff to bake with and I'll try to rise to the task. Uh, what have I got with me? Not a lot of stuff. Oh, that's okay. Crisby's always open. Ah, good old Crisby's. It's nice to see this place again. Again, Kabu? Hmm, on my first trip here I would eat here every day. I must say, I've heard the food's gotten even better. That's so. Now we've got to taste some. A bee chef out of the hive, huh? So, uh, this is, I think, the only place in the game you can get this, a bag of flour, uh, which is a really important base ingredient for making all sorts of exciting foods. Uh, the other things here, the honey drop and the nutty cake you can get elsewhere. I think the honey, like the nutty drop, you can, the nutty cake you have to cook uh, from some other things if you don't buy it here. The honey drop you can just get anywhere. Uh, but yeah, the bag of flour is the exciting thing. I'm gonna grab one of those. That bag of flour goes for four berries. D does it look any good to you? I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks for all your support. Ah, God, I've already seen this. I talk over here. Business is booming. There's so many shops and they all sell unique items. I simply cannot skip going to the bakery. You feel there's more to this place. A little supply gathering detour wouldn't hurt. Uh, we're gonna cook with the bag of flour. And I think the glazed honey, I think this works. Hopefully this works. Okay, here it goes, wish me luck. Oh, it doesn't. Oops. Really did try, I'm sorry. Oopsie daisies. Uh, I believe you cooked the honey drop with the bag of flour, that will work. So let's give that a shot. <laughs> Nailed it! I'm getting so much better! You got some honey pancakes! Restores 1 HP and 6 TP to the party. So, 1 HP to all 3 party members and 6 TP, which is quite good. Uh, there are better better foods, like there's there's some really good food items in this game, but that one we can get pretty easily, so I figured I'd make one. Hello. Travelers, I can see the scars of battle in your being. Uh... Worry not, I only wish to help. I've got some powerful berries on me. Hmm, just how powerful? These berries can boost your combat abilities when eaten. You can't really share them, though. I'll have to decide who eats which. Those sound quite helpful. Blech, knowing these merchants is going to cost us a wing. You're not wrong, Traveller. I'm selling an HP-boosting heartberry right now. 100 berries. What? Think of the HP, Vi. Or V. Uh, I've been watching Arcane, which is a character called Vi. Um, so naturally I'm pronouncing the name Vi. But it's... In this game it's V, because it rhymes with B. <laughs> Just think of the 100 berries, Leaf. 
Uh, we'll come back when we've decided, so don't take too long. Who knows when they'll spoil. They won't spoil. Uh, but yeah, this person will give you a number of stat boosting berries. Uh, the heart berry is the first one? There's, there's a couple more. But the heart berry is like the simplest, just gives you more HP. Uh, the most powerful ones are the ones that boost your attack and defense permanently because, you know, those numbers go, don't go up during the game. Otherwise, uh, they stay at like one or two. Uh, if we have a look at our stats here, like you can see, uh, we all have two base attack and zero base defense, and there's essentially no way to increase that. So yeah. <laughs> Blasted bandits, I can't think of what I've done to her. If you see any, don't be merciful. This fellow seems to be diligently guarding this sign. Huh, I think I saw him when he left the hive, but he looked a lot happier. It's not like we know what's going on in his life, we shouldn't be too nosy. But being nosy is a part of helping others. Fine. Hello. Hmm, can't just leave the forge, how will I get that ore? Miss but Butomo? Butomo? What an honor. Uh, is she special? She makes medals, right? Well, yes, but there are many tales of her strength, of her journeys. Slowly travels across the land collecting materials, and no obstacle will be a match for her. They say she walked right through a boulder. Now oh, that's gotta be fake. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, check, check my mecha claw out. Biffy, ain't it? A new frontier of weaponry right awaits by my claw. Nice claw. I don't get what's the big deal with it. Well, he's the blacksmith. As long as it helps him out, it's all that matters. I, d I don't think it's like a prosthetic arm thing. I think he's just wearing a claw in his hand. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, if it works, it works. <laughs> What? I'm just enjoying some shade. Stop staring. Sorry. Hello there, lovelies. Welcome to my humble stall. Here I offer charms. We can change how battles go on for you. For only a few berries. I have a few different charm types, which is how long their effects will last. The more they last, the more berries they cost, of course. Are you interested in any charms? What kind of charm are you interested in? So, uh, the charms, um... There's a similar thing in Paper Mario, again, where I think Merle, one of the Mer people, <laughs> the, the one who's actually in Dry Dry Outpost, uh, gives you like, an, like a blessing that means you will get more coins or more experience or whatever for a certain number of battles. This is the same thing. <laughs> oh, come back if you ever change your mind, alright? Um, I haven't used this, but it's, it's the same thing as that. Oh, the charm dancer. We simply must purchase one. Oh, you want too keen on fortune? I've seen these work with my very own eyes. There's no luck involved. Uh huh. Maybe just one then. Cuckoo. Welcome to the Poison Emporium. That's your number one place to get exotic toxins. Cuckoo. Interested in pain? Get close to its vessel and press A to call me. The rumors were true. There is a master of all poison in this town. Uh. Where, no, when did you hear that? I mentioned him. His ingredients carry more toxins than you could imagine. Do you even want to ask? Look, we're buying these and cooking them. No way, do it with your own berries. And yeah, you can get a lot of the poison items here. And poison is very useful in this game, so those are quite valuable. Uh... Have we talked to you yet? I heard you save my mates from some bandits. I'm bad at this, so only say it once. Thank you. No problem. Now, for a reward. It was nothing. We look forward to buying from you in the future. These merchants really get around. They find Ritz the best place to restock, you know? They get lots of stuff for cheap. Surprisingly well informed. It's about money, it shouldn't surprise you. Yep, in business, knowing's half the battle. <laughs> Uh, I think we will head over to the uh, the Golden Settlement shortcut I mentioned. Uh, now that we're healed, we should be okay to wander past some enemies and maybe have a fight or two. Uh, and then we'll call it a video, because we're at 25 minutes right now. And yeah, 
I think just, just exploring Defiant Root, getting a sense of what it's about. It's a nice video. Not too tricky to just avoid these enemies anyway, but mm, just in case. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Water. Need water. We're close to the hills. Hang in there. You're not thirsty? Perhaps we shouldn't boast this once. You found a strong start medal. The equipped ally starts battle with an extra turn, but their exhaustion ramps up quicker. Strong start is complicated. If you have a good if you have a strategy that involves using that extra turn really well, it can be fantastic. Otherwise, it's not too good. Uh, in any case, we want to get all the medals in the game, so the fact that we've got it is helpful for that reason alone. Oh, uh, hello. I want to flip the cackling. that up real bad. We'll be okay. Unfortunately, we do lose a bit of health and stuff as a result of this battle, but we can manage. I am messing up these guys timing. The, the, these timing for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I'm just going to get confused about the pronunciation from now on, because yeah. The arcane character's name is spelt the same way, but it's Vi. <laughs> oh dear. That's more like it. Ooh. A succulent berry. And quite a few regular berries as well. Kind of makes up for taking the damage in the first place. You'll notice there's a lot of these. Um, if you step on that, yeah, you just take damage. You actually take damage. It doesn't hurt the player, but like, see, we didn't take any damage from that happening. But it does, you know, knock you back, and you can't cross. Uh... Have we fought these guys already. Yes, we have. I, I just wanted to make sure we hadn't missed missed a chance to to get them on onto our list of of stuff, you know. There we go. I just wanted to make sure I'd had all those enemies, but we had, so let's get some points. No big deal. And some berries, which is nice. And there we go. We are now in the Golden Settlement again. And we open this door, which means we have a permanent shortcut back and forth, which is nice. Check if the inn here is a little bit cheaper because that might be nice. It is. But I forget whether it actually is or not. It is cheaper. Let's stay here. Our 
that's about it for this video. Uh, we have had a little bit of an explore of Defiant Root, gotten a sense of what the place is like, uh, and we've opened up this nice shortcut which helps us get back between the Defiant Root and the Golden Settlement whenever we want. Which also acts, of course, as a shortcut to Defiant Root because we can get to the Golden Settlement very easily because we have this tunnel here. That's quite nice. Yeah, we can just wander north again. Without much trouble at all. There's the little shop. We're just going to chuck down a save over here. And next time we're going to head up into the Bee Kingdom. So yeah, doing all that stuff in Defiant Root, it's technically optional. Uh, there's a lot, but there's a lot, and there's a lot more to do in Defiant Root than we've done here as well, but I think we had a good time. At least I did. And, you know, I'm the one playing the game, so. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, yeah, we'll head up into the Bee Kingdom and we'll get a sense of what that place is like and probably start the chapter's adventure proper, which, you know, is in the Bee Kingdom, but we've just got a little bit of wandering around to do first, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye!